I like to borrow from the African-American tradition, the tradition of jazz, which is really not only a musical tradition, but it's also a spiritual tradition. For jazz taught America democracy before America even knew what democracy was all about. It was those people from Haiti who made their way to New Orleans in a place called the Congo Square. And in the Congo Square on Sundays, it was Africans who were able uh, to spend time freely singing and dancing and reflecting upon their own experience. And in those spaces, they were able to hear the sounds of indigenous people, Spanish and German and French. And that is where jazz was created, out of that space. But jazz gives us an ethic that I believe is transformative for our nation. Because jazz takes music, musicians, and instruments that are not supposed to play together, but they do. The saxophone is supposed to play for the marching band. And it is the piano that is to play for that classical European style of music. The drum is not to play polyrhythms that come out of the African tradition, but simply a one-two marching sound. And if you play the bass, you are to play it with a bow, not with your fingers. But in the jazz band, all of these elements come together and they begin to play. And what is so beautiful about the jazz band is that the jazz band says that everybody has the right to solo. Everybody has a right to express themselves uniquely from their own particular tradition. So you will never hear the saxophone trying to tell the piano you have to sound like me. You will never hear the piano trying to tell the bass you have to sound just like me. And you will never hear the drum telling everybody you just got to sound like me. No, everybody is given the right to slow solo.